mentioned yesterday, they are her dad's comics, which they found him in a box, right? In the old days, you know, I would have offered less and I still would have got it. But nowadays, it's like, oh, I got to up my buys a little bit, right? Mm -hmm. So I went a little higher than I would normally. I gave her 450 bucks, which is, I know, embarrassingly high. But I'll show you how it adds up, right? And so that was pretty fair. And so I'm going to try to uh, pay a little bit more. Okay, on good stuff. On right? the good stuff. So let me show you what we got. I'll start with the good stuff, right? So we got... Uh, we got a Strange Tales pre-superhero fucking comic that's just amazing. Look at this comic, bro. Look at this fucking comic. She's in a corset. It's red. There's a chasm. It's like VG-ish. 75 bucks seems cheap, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. It's never going to make it out. I'm keeping this one. Okay, <laughs> look at that thing. It's just beautiful. Number 60? Oh, God. There's one on eBay, trash to hell, and they want 80 bucks for it. But I just... Oh, my God. Okay. Then we got the first giant man. He turns oh, giant into giant man. man. It's beat to hell. 50 bucks. That's a good deal. We got an incredible Vincent Price photo cover. 15 bucks. Beautiful. We got an incredible Dr. Fucking Doom Jack Kirby cover. 250. Fine plus. This could be pressed into, more, into yeah. a VF. This is probably undervalued. But look at that. Can you get a good look at that, oh, yeah. that bad boy? It's got the great old Kirby plating on the thing. Oh, it's a beauty. We got a homoerotic Sergeant Fury cover. We know what's going down, mm. bro. Concentration camps were known for that. And he's he's in the position, right? Shirts off. Yeah. Yeah. He hasn't lost his eye yet, if you know what I mean. He still has two eyes. Oh, well, we one, one eye. In the, I mean, the eye in the back. Yeah. Okay. Then we got a sweet little Doctor Strange. Death Strange Tales. 40 bucks. These are cheap, right? Is that cheap? Yeah. I mean, the main story sucks, but no. the Doctor Strange story, oh my god, it started Death Cult, bro. And we got a number 22. For, that's when Sue Storm gets powered up. 100 bucks. VGF. Probably undergraded, but that's what I do. And the first Mandarin. The Mandarin. If it wasn't for this cut right here, right here, this would be like 500 bucks. But no. it's got the cut and it's got that, Nobody's so it's half perfect. price, 250. Nobody's perfect. Who wouldn't want that for 250 right? Eh? It's a good price. So that's the good shit. The rest of it's like five bucks or so, right. but let's go through it. Why don't you come from behind? I'm and I'll coming just, from and I'll behind. Just, yeah, just like Baron Strucker. Just like Baron Von Strucker. All right, so we got Tarzan's Jungle Animal. Oh, boy. That's not a bad comic. Bill was the dad, and he, he autographed a few of these for us. So, right, Cooper was his name? Bill? Cooper. Bill Cooper. But this stupid book does book a 10. I go like more than half off on old stuff just because, you know. But look at it, five bucks. We got a Dr. Manhattan prototype, five bucks. World's Finest, seven bucks. We got a sweet in the jungles, trapped. This is like pre-Vietnam, so I don't know. $2, we got Stumpy. I only price these because hot stuff's in them. We got some Carl Barks garbage. Carl Barks, Four Carl. bucks, I'll take it, Boomer. Fuck okay. The muck. We got a War Stories. 1954 DC War Stories comic. 25 bucks, number 22. That'll sell. Some crappy DCs. We got the first Dream Girl, 10 bucks. Oh boy. Some uh, Unknown Worlds. This is the Devil cover, bro. Oh no. Five oh, bucks. No. Some Turox. The Decent Dinosaur shape. Hunter. We got a Captain America. I think that's a horrible Kirby. Inked by Coletta cover, but it's it sucks. Five bucks. It's a big grip. We got Lassie. Two bucks. Great cover. Whoever did these covers. They knew what they were doing. Oh, they're beautiful. We got, you know, Santa. Little two people. bucks. Disney. Tarzan, three bucks. Twilight Zone, five. War Book, five. Jerry Lewis. Jerry Lewis. I just found out that Jerry Lewis was Jewish. Oh, my God. You, you didn't know that? I knew that. I'm just kidding. Okay, then we got a Abe Lincoln time travel story. Still time Spoiler travel. Spoiler alert. Abe Doesn't Lincoln is not in the comic. What? Lies. Charlton. Some more crappy DC. Five bucks. Here's a Jimmy Olsen number six. Books at $50. $20 yeah, at Cedar Class. Oh, no. I know, it's heavy. He is a, he is a Jimmy Olsen 13, 20. He we got the last Superboy cover before they switched to Legion of Superheroes. He's big! 
We got another crappy DC comic with, you know, Red Kryptonite and Giants. Well, God, these it was comics the are 50s. terrible. No. 60s. 60s. Yeah. We got Lois Lane, early appearance of Superwoman. That's cool, right? Oh, boy. I went 20 because it was they cool. They powered her up. We got Superman with some weird dictator. I don't know. This is well, just, yeah. What is going on? He's the man of steel, what you see? What is going on in this He's the era? man of steel. Who thought that was good? It's fine. Then we got a torn in half. 56 action, 10 bucks. Seems cheap. Can't fix that one with pressing. Well, you can, you can oh, fire. we got Tomahawk. It's getting married, but then, you know, Tomahawk's got a little, you know, ward. Yeah, a little, a little man. And he's crying because he's getting married. He's getting he's getting uh, upgraded away, yeah. So this kid's like, bro, yeah. are you an Indian giver, bro? Yeah. Because I think there's yes. some weird triple dynamic here. I don't yeah. want to talk about it, but, you know, because, I, you know, it, it's disturbing. Frederick Wortham wasn't, you know, he wasn't just All sorry right. for no reason. More crap. We got Bonanza. Bonanza. A oh. double. It's a Michael Landon Lauren Green photo cover. Oh, now, back in the day. 20 years ago, this would have been 30 bucks. No, but the boomers are all dead, so they don't care. They don't, want it. They don't I care. I don't care about bonanza, and neither do you. There are more bonanzas than there are people to buy them. Yeah. We got Korak number one. Korak! Seems, seems cheap for 10 Son bucks. Of Tarzan. Another great painted cover. Russ Manning drew these two. These Russ are good. Russ Manning. And we got horrible Classics Illustrated, speaking of dead boomers. Two bucks! That's what we're down to on Classics Illustrated. Jack the Giant Killer, nice animated movie, five bucks. Rip Hunter, three Rip bucks. Hunter. Sea Devil, the sea five devils. bucks. Giant underwater spider. Stupid. Well, they. How could that even work? They're not underwater. Don't you think the ocean currents would ruin the spider webs? I, I don't worry about underwater. And how spiders. does it breathe underwater? It breathes in your fear. Oh, the pressure would crush it. it they, they don't have an exoskeleton. There's oh, God, it breathes it's dumb. Your fear. Here's another terrible house of mystery. Well, it's DC and lots of mystery. Before the horror stuff took over. Look at that terrible. Well, you know, they didn't guy. know how to be scary. And we oh, got yeah. painted oh, cover, Tarzan of the more Apes. Tarzan. And we got The Horse Without a Head, a movie oh, I've no. never heard of. But it does have a uh, a Captain Nemo story that is a sequel to 20,000 Leagues. That's only in this comic. It hasn't been reprinted. A lot of these Disney movies are not on Disney+. Plus. Three bucks. This. Well, I don't know if that's... Well, I assume it's Disney. Well, yeah, all these were 60s Disney movies. All right, movies. we got some terrible boomer Blackhawk. Oh, Hawk. boy. We got Tom Thumb. Tom Thumb. That's the guy from War of the Gargantuas, right? Yep. Yeah, yeah. Okay. All right. We got more terrible Black boomer Hawk. catnip. We got uh, John Buscemi's art, art, which is not that mm -hmm. Oh, Yep, Billy Cooper. Now, I, I think his mom wrote that. Yeah, 1957, yeah. His mom was concerned about the kids down the block stealing his Shark Fighter comics, so... Don't steal his shark fighter comics. And we got the police against crime. I, well, is there any other kind? I don't know. Police against... Uh, we got police. Steve Zodiac at Fireball XL5, number one, bro. Space there was no number shit. two. There yeah. was no number two. Had a good inaugural issue. We got more crappy DC. This time, Supergirl's getting married. Sure are a lot of marriages yeah, in these comics. I don't know. I don't know if people understand that when there's a wedding issue that means there's a honeymoon panel that mm -hmm. wasn't included right yeah so i'm pretty sure that supergirl got laid before superman yeah, probably superman seems like a virgin to me right true, 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 innocent true innocent it wasn't until much baseball. later in the dan jurgens jerry ordray superman, that superman got sex. laid and then of course he did get he did have sex with lois lane right Once had a twice. kid and his kid turns out to be you know well let's just say queer Right? Yeah, cool. He's quick. Right? We got a, a wash. DC used this weird wash technique on these covers. You can't tell on this one as much. But that's beautiful, right? Mm -hmm. Five bucks. And then we got Steve Dicko porn. Gorgo. Back in the day, he worked for Marvel and Charlton. And his Charlton stuff is... Good. You know, it's hit. No, it's mm -hmm. hit and miss. But this is hit. This Gorgo stuff. A hit is a hit. Oh. Oh, my God. There's just something about it. Ten dollars seems cheap. Then I just I don't normally keep these, but that was a pretty sweet Daffy. Yeah, good luck. Daffy has a Muslim cover, right? No, no. He's on his he's on his Going magic hard. carpet ride. Going he's got hard. his turban on, his rings. Daffy I don't know. Something wild. about that comic speaks to me. It's funny. All right, we got a terrible adventure comic. This adventure has got a nice uh, Green Arrow story in it, but fifteen bucks. More war stuff. The war what stuff war. sells. I don't know what it is. This DC war stuff sells. I just, I don't know. For guide. They don't make anymore. For guide. They you don't know. make anymore. First Sparrow. He was a recurring character, kind of a, kind of a uh, spy type character. Here's a pretty nice R army, early R army at war. 
Army at war. Now in fine, they're kind of rare. Because these are red. And that these covert art is just beautiful. God, that's a beauty. Anything with Sergeant Rock is good. Poor Sergeant Rock. Got killed with the last bullet fu the last fired. Bullet in the last war. Oh, what a way to go. They never retconned that either. No, because he's still stuck in that. Isn't that sad how he died? Sergeant Rock? Mm -hmm. He deserved better. And he enlisted! He enlisted! <laughs> he was not drafted. He's not drafted. People like come up to me like, do you give military discounts? And I'm like, oh, were you drafted? Were you drafted? Like oh, no, years? it's not 1975. Sorry. I mean, I'll give anybody a discount. You don't have to be a soldier, right? Soldiers of I'm just saying. Forgotten war. The military discount was the guys who were drafted and didn't want to go. Mm -hmm. Okay? I'm just saying. So I'm trying to be. wanted to go. He was, he anyway, was jumping at the back the jerry's. There's always dogs in this book. Gunner and Sarge. I believe Sarge was the dog. No. Sarge is right there. Maybe Gunner's the dog. What do you think? Is Gunner the dog? I think so. Anybody know? Maybe, yeah. Okay. There's another guy on the tank, and his name is USMC. Ha! <laughs> Marine Corps. Marine Corps. All right, another $10 one. We got My Favorite Martian, Marine number Wilson. one. Believe it or not, this book has gone down in value quite a bit. For whatever reason, this book used to be like 50 bucks, but no one cares. I don't play it on TV anymore. Again, the boomers are dead. Yeah, they're dying. We got a Garden Variety Justice League, number 24. Cool number as hell. 24. 20 bucks. There's something about that one I like. It's got a cool little Adam. That's a good cover. Adam. 20 seems cheap. All right, more. We got Combat. another, uh, that's a wash cover. See how you can see they used mm -hmm. a, like, uh, EC, or uh, Eerie and Creepy did that in black and white. Yep. To great effect. Oh, we got a uh, Superman 104. Beat to hell, 40 bucks. Strangely, the dials are Mars, Earth, Venus, Saturn, Neptune, and Uranus is covered up. Well, they want they want. They don't. Uranus. Nobody wants a Uranus joke, bro. I don't know. We got a cool Flash comic with an early Kid Flash story. That's Wally West, yeah. by the way. We got a crappy five dollar Legion's Legion. Oh my god. The problem with the Legion is every story is the same. Yeah. Ah, god. It doesn't matter. Also. Here's the tryout series before Hawkman number one. Hawkman number. Right, that's a beautiful cover. Wow. That looks like, uh, God, who did that cover? Kubert. It looks, is that Kubert? I think it is. Because of the old style, he had that, yeah, that is Kubert. He changed that though, right? Mm -hmm. Somebody else drew that into over there. Oh, that's beautiful. We got second or third appearance of Mara. Mara! She's cool. This should be more than Mara 20 bucks. Really cool. Well, you know, it's DC. That's a great DC's, one. She's kind of like DC's in the mean. Dumps. She's mm -hmm. eating. Aquaman's not kid. a nice lady. And we got an early star sapphire. She oh, was, no. But she's kind of like uh, a stupid 50s girl. Yes. And I don't like it. Carol. She's not a Joker level villain. All right, here's a good book. Here's the ba Brave and the Bull. The Brave and the Bull. Three battle stars where they teamed up for the first time. The Haunted Take, Sergeant Rock, and Cloud. And I believe there's some. Neither other. Sergeant Rock, the Punisher, or Nick Fury. This is this an discount. amazing book. And it's as rare as hell. Because of his hat, but. <laughs> and we got some Outer Limits. The Outer Limits. Now, the great thing about these, these came out when the show was on TV. Yep. To and it's got the, that crazy 70s, like, computer font. That just looks cool. And then I got a number one. And that one's 30 bucks, and it's a full-length story, kind of a rip-off of War of the Worlds, but, you know, what are you going to do? What are you going to do, bro? Shit. And we got a Hawkman number two. Nobody likes Hawkman. I go more than half off on Hawkman. Yeah, Hawk yeah. There's something about Hawkman. Sucks. Yeah. We got an early Batmite appearance, and they've got some crazy, like, Batmite guy. Oh, my God. Batmite is the bomb. Why don't they do a Batmite movie? It's too upsetting. To who? They don't like any of that. Cartoon, funny... bro. No, I know. Like, if you have Batman talking to a cartoon Batman. And we got, oh, God. Like, uh... Adam's always been strapped. Get him. He's on a grenade. He's about to, oh, my God. If only he could expand bigger and get out of that it mess. Contained. Oh, well. Maybe he'll figure it out. I don't know. Probably not. All right. Then we got some crappy Dells for three Dells. bucks. We got Herbie number Herbie. one. This is a hot book. For some reason, people like this shit. They, well, I don't know what it is. And he's got George Washington. I don't know. 30 bucks, I discounted it, though. And we got, oh, the Lone Ranger story. Another boomer catnip book. This has got his origin in it. It's beat to hell. But even in beat to hell, it's 35 bucks. $15 at Cedar Cliff. We got some more classics illustrated. These the are kind of rare. The French Revolution. 
These are the later ones. Three, five for 47 cents. That was a deal. Then we got a Jack Kirby one for gold and glory. For gold and glory. We got Jungle, five bucks. Jungle this is a good action. one, though. This one's got like three good stories in it. We got a sweet Gil Kane mashup all star western cover, five bucks. Marvel reprint, two the bucks. Gun. Hey, these used to be a dollar. They've doubled in value. Now it's going up. Casper, three bucks. That's a nice Casper cover. We got a 666 Devil Kids. Oh, boy. Oh, yeah. Can you back up? Oh, back up. Casper, Isn't that nope. cute? Which one? The one underneath there. Right this one? There. Yep. Oh, there you go. See? Yep. Two a man knows a bargain oh, when he sees it. Taste. And we got uh, Terrible Challenge. When Kirby left this, it's just awful. The challenge of the unknown. Ugh. All right, we're almost done here. All right, well, let's go we're fast. Done. We're never done. Well, let's just go fast. All right, we got some more horrible Charlton. Cover. Although, for Charlton, that's kind of a cool cover. Yeah. It's the Gunmaster versus Dr. Dr. Dynamite. Dynamite. Well, but they have this weird way that they do the lettering. Well, it's almost like different. it's a machine, but it's not. It could be. I don't know. Maybe it is. I don't know. But it's, he's got the big chin. My money's on Dr. Dynamite. Yeah, he looks like a he's a man. Man. He's a madman, but he's got to stop him. But how? An explosive gun. I don't know. I'll have to pursue that later. Then we got Spaceman number seven. Spaceman it's number the fiercest seven. space battle of all time. Oh, Sucks. Gosh. Number one of Navy War Heroes. Five Navy bucks. War Heroes. Rex Morgan. So every Rex Argo Morgan. comic I've ever bought is fucking trashed. Yeah, I don't know what the paper stock is, but they just explode. They're they just, just disgustingly their paper they stock. They disintegrate. They are made of cheap paper to, for war bond reasons. Apparently Rex Morgan was a thing, but there he is. He's that girl's not going to make it. Well, he's a good doctor. He's or maybe good. he got sued by the state of Florida, yeah, and in, in between transition, she's got to be killed. Yeah, he's like, that's the way it is in Florida, bro. Get the pillow. Sorry, sorry about gotta your sex chromosome imbalance. Gender dysphoria is not yeah, a thing for us. Fix that right Fuck up. you, right wing. No. Okay, then we got. Do it down in Disney speaking World. of right wing, look at that guy, bro. He wouldn't ask for this. Who do you think either. Audie Murphy voted for, bro? Died. I don't know, Kenny. Kenny. Nixon, or... bro. Didn't he die in like the fifties though? I don't know. I'm just guys? trying to make a joke here, oh, bro. Okay. We got more Korak. More Korak! This time it's Monkey versus Vulture. I don't know. My money's on the monkey, bro. They did a study back in the 60s, and they saw that any monkey or gorilla on a comic, it sells twice as many comics. Yes, apes and babes. I don't know why. Frank Cho said that, too. I don't know why. Here's a beauty. Now, this is a reprint. It's a it's adaptation of the movie. But the cover is just this wonderful painting. Look at this. 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea cover. Just That's a great, great yep. painting. Yep. Five bucks. It's probably rare as hell, but no one cares. No one cares. It is a reprint, though. I looked it up. We got another Kid Got, Kid Colt. Dr. Danger, bro. Not to be confused with the other guy. Dr. Dynamite? Yeah! Maybe no. Dr. Danger and Dr. Dynamite should get together. Maybe they... Re yeah, it's really and nice. him and Kid Colt Outlaw and Rawhide... Oh, hold no, up. That's really not that hold idea up! Started. Hold up! That's what we like to call an orgy, bro. He was just pretending, you see. Oh, then we got the Inside third time the they tried to make a Cave Carson series, but it's basically just stupid Pellucidar. No one wants it. A Pellucidar. All right, we got a, a 56 World's Finest comic. It's, when they're the three musketeers, it's stupid. Looks like they're fighting the real musketeers. Though. Yes, it does. Yes. Well, more than three of them. Huh. My money. Oh, and the man in the Iron Mask. Boy, they yeah. got it all here. Man, Alexander Dumas would be proud. I wonder yeah, if they paid him. Well, I mean, he, was, oh, he, he was died dead. 600 years before. Yeah. So how many comic guys know that? Nah, never mind. No, All right. Well, then we I mean, got another painted war comic, five bucks. That's, this is the full story of the D-Day invasion, man. Hugh Jackman as Wolverine. Except for it doesn't have any of the blood, the guts, or the dead people. Well, in. they don't want you to think it's a bad well, thing you know, war. War is heck. War is fun. We got a beautiful Sam Glansman comic. Oh, this guy's underrated. Man, he's like Joe Kubert, except for more violent. He's like a violent George Kubert. Joe Kubert. That's what you want to be. Oh, the whole thing's Glansman, too. It's erotic. All right, then we got some more terrible DC radio Gang TV busters. comics. Gangbusters. It sucks. I don't know. Three dollars. And we got My Own Romance with, yes, wait for it, Vince Coletta cover. Vince Coletta. Fucking Vince Coletta, bro. That's probably one of his best covers ever, actually. He was a romance artist at heart. Just like Jack Kirby. Yes, Not Jack, I mean, I mean, uh, Romita. Romita was all about romance comics. And we got Baby Huey. I only price Baby Hueys because a guy I know, Clem, Clem mm -hmm. Fortman. Loves him? 
he was his favorite comic was Baby Huey, mm -hmm. and it was hard to take him seriously. Well, you know, your favorite cartoon. Turns too. out his wife got Crohn's, oh. and he decided to uh, quit Schinders and cure her. Go to school and become a chemist and cure Crohn's. Well, yeah. And he fucking graduated, and now he's working he as a scientist. He it's amazing. He have done it hey Clem, you. He have done Clem, it you. He have done it you. Attaboy. Yeah. Oh. We're great. We're very we, great. We got us. A number 100, five blocks, another great cover. I don't know. Men at War. I just can't believe it's Men of five War, blocks. excuse me. This is Russ Heath, bro. Mm. And we got crappy Phantoms. The when Phantom. I was a kid, we'd go to the grocery store and all they had were Phantom right. fucking books. And he was the crap. first superhero. What was that other crappy book? It was a Zorro? Phantom and what was that other Zorro? crappy crime one? Zorro? No. The Lone Ranger. Man, it was a paperback series that was on the shelf and it was like 6,000 volumes. The and Green Hornet. Anyway, we got an almost More Russ. Army. There's an almost Russ Heath cover. This Army. artist tried to make it look like Russ Heath, but it's not. I think this guy would ask you for a discount. I think it's because he's not. I think it's Heath or Russell, or Russell. but I don't know. Fuck we got a beat Army. up witch's tail. Normally these oh, are cool, no. but this comic sucks because uh, I, I think the EC stuff started to affect it, and they they toned it down and they copied. Oh, we that. don't want to get. Was that terrible so bird movie innocent. with the, the giant claw? So uh, probably came out. And they just ripped off the giant there claw. There was a lot of recursive plagiarism. Here. Which is worse, the giant claw or the witch's tail rip off I, I the giant know. claw? I don't know. I don't know, bro. The rip off problem. Then we got a March of Comics, Gene Autry, surprisingly only worth twenty dollars. I mean, my guess. Well, yeah. it's a nice shape. I think it's cool. Then we got more crappy Blackhawk. Blackhawk. Eight the bucks. Flying Blackhawks. With the, with the Asian stereotype there. I don't uh, know. I can't there was a name. war, in. There was a war on. I can't remember his name. And then we got a com a series, I guess, Burke's was Law. something called Burke's Law. Oh, made boy. made a couple of a couple of them. It's not good. More Turok with dinosaurs Turok. and bow and arrows. That one's cool. Ten bucks. Number eleven. We got Charlton number one. Three bucks. And we'll end Conga. with Conga. But we're not done yet because Conga. Wait till you see what this looks like inside. Well, I mean, eight, you think you buy sold. a conga comic from Charlton, and you're like, oh yeah, I like Steve Ditko. He was pretty cool, you know. But then you open it up, and you're like, oh, you get it. Cause this comic, look how terrible. That doesn't look that good, right? Yeah, it doesn't. But look good. at page one, bro. Page one. Boom. Whoa. Boom. Holy what? Look at that. Oh my. And the evil eye guy, he's got the evil eye in every panel. He does. He's got that new modern douchebag haircut, too, that all, looks the, that all like the Republican J. J. idiots, weightlifter idiots have. And there he is. The big blue conga. Oh, my God. And it's just, <laughs> I don't think he wrote any of this stuff, but who, I don't, maybe they had like an early form of chat GP back then, <laughs> where it was like a, like a, a prompt. One of those boxes, and you do that, right? Yeah. And then when it pops up, it has a story, and then Steve Ditko draws it. Because these are not good. But the art is good. Look, why won't you obey the evil eye? The evil eye! Conga's like, nope, talk to the hand. Ah! But then he's going to eat the guy. It's quite a bit bigger. And he takes him to Conga's mysterious island, right? Yes. And then the ants get into his pants. And, and Conga thinks that's funny, and that's the end of the story. Okay. The evil eye was the What an amazing, it. amazing thing that is. Mmm. Ten bucks. All day long. It's worth the smell alone. All right.